What's up, what's up, beautiful people? I go by the name Ivan Sriola, guys. Thank you so, so much for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for the comments on my channel. Thank you for the love. I do not take it for granted, man. I always say that um, there is nothing as beautiful as talking to a camera right in front of me and I get response online. I get to see the comments. I get to see people telling me that I am doing a nice work. I get to see the critics, man. I do it for you all and um, when I see that, I am so, so happy. So guys, welcome to my space. This is Ivan Sriola. I am live from Nairobi, Kenya. And guys, I like talking about um, topics that are affecting people outside there because I intend to bring solutions to the problems. I intend to hear other people's perspectives of the same issues. You know, when I have um, an issue at hand and they don't talk about it, People don't get to learn. Other people do not get to share their perspectives of the same. So that's what even Sriola does on YouTube. So guys, thank you so, so much for the love. Let's go straight to today's topic, guys. So um, you all know that Ghana has been on the map since it's opened um, its borders um, for the return of the black people, uh, black diaspora and black Americans through the year of return. That was in... 2019 through their president Nana Akufo Addo and um, you all know that um, hundreds of black Americans fled Ghana um, as they were trying to find their ancestry back in the motherland you know Ghana is the only country and the first country that opened its doors to the black race to go and trace back their ancestry back here in the motherland and you all know that um, Hundreds of years ago, um, the slaves went through Ghana to overseas. So most black people come trace their ancestry black, back from Ghana. And you know there's been an issue after black Americans have been flooding um, Ghana. And um, the main issue that has been happening in Ghana has been the issue of land. The issue of land buying the issue of land selling by the Ghanaians. It's been a crazy, crazy issue. When you go online, you see a lot of videos that says, don't buy land in Ghana. Don't do this and this in Ghana. There are scammers, you know. There's been that a lot of that online. And I, I tend to feel that uh, most of the people lack the information or rather they do not know the guidelines that they should take when they move to Ghana. And this video should be a very informative video for you you should uh, learn from this video so that when you move to Ghana when you go and trace your ancestry back to the motherland your stay may be easier rather than be stressful so guys you understand Kenya also opened um, its doors to all countries of the world Kenya is now visa free but you understand at the same time not all Kenyans are happy or all Kenyans are employed so when a lot of people move into my country and uh, my country has people who are unemployed, people tend to be scammers to get money from the visitors in that new country. And this thing happens worldwide in each and every other country. When someone notices that uh, you're not a local, they want to get something from you and extra cash. It's normal. So we just have to be um, very, very cautious when it comes to moving to new countries. So there's been uh, issues with um, land buying in Ghana for the black Americans. And here are things that people need to know before buying land in Ghana, or rather even before moving to Ghana, if you want to settle in Ghana and buy land. So these are some of the things that I have done my research deeply and gotten to understand that black Americans should know before moving to Ghana. Let's move straight to the points right now. So the first thing, even before having the idea of land buying or rather buying a land, you should know that in Ghana, you cannot be the owner of a land for a lifetime. It's um, somehow um, of, in a way it's leasing, you know. Um, in Ghana, you can only buy land up to 50 years. Get that clearly. You can only buy land up to 50 years as a diaspora or as a foreigner, as a black American who's just moved into Ghana. 
Don't go there and expect that land to be yours for a lifetime, my brother, my sisters, my fellow black brother and sisters. That land will be snatched from you after those years. So um, don't expect it to be yours for more than 50 years. That's one thing that you should have in the back of your mind. I see it's only here in Kenya um, for us as um, citizens. I don't know. I'm not sure of foreigners, but I think it's the same. In Kenya, when you buy land, it's yours for a, li for a lifetime. Your children and your children's children will uh, inherit the land, especially if you buy the land um, in the villages of Kenya, the villages, not in crown lands, not somewhere in the capital city, a busy place. I'm not sure of that, but for the villages, it's for a lifetime. So when you move to Ghana as a black American, ensure that you note that the land cannot be yours more than 50 years. That's point number one that you should know. So when you have landed in Ghana and want um, to buy land, ensure you explore a lot of options. Ensure you explore a lot of options and ensure you get a surveyor. That's point number one. Ensure that you get a surveyor. Don't just move um, to landowners. Um, they convince you that this is their property and um, it starts from here to the other end. Um, it's 50 by 100 or rather 100 by 100 from the landowner. You should ensure that at least you have a surveyor. You know, the surveyors, are, uh, they are professionals. Sir. They can tell you how much um, this land, um, uh, okay, the, the, the distance this land covers. They can tell you professionally, rather than just being told by someone who's allegedly the landowner that you even do not know. So ensure that you have a surveyor on the ground. That's point number one to note, guys. There is no any good country and any bad country in the world. We just have to be careful when we move to new countries and ensure that uh, we do things the legal way so that we avoid to be scammed. That's the first thing that we should note a surveyor on the ground. Number two, the surveyor uh, generates a site plan and you take it to the land commission and uh, they know how to run their research. So after the surveyor has gone to the land and ensured that indeed this land squares from here to there, they generate a site plan. And that site plan, you take it to the Lands Commission of Ghana so that um, you get um, more advice in regards to the same land. Each land in Ghana is under someone's name. So when you take the site plan to uh, the Land Commission's the land commission will tell you if truly the land belongs to the alleged owner who is trying to sell you that land. You see, many a times people do mistakes, they do transactions after they are told that this is the original owner. Remember, they've not used a surveyor, a professional surveyor. They've not um, brought about um, the land um, commission of Ghana. They do not know nothing, but you have already transacted. That's a mistake. Number one, get a surveyor. The surveyor generates a site plan of the land that um, you've um, spotted. Then the site plan is taken to the Lands Commission. Let's see what next is done. Uh, after you've taken it to the Lands uh, Commission, the Lands Commission will identify the original landowner. And you'll get to know if the person who's selling you the land is the rightful owner. Number five, sales and purchase agreement that binds both parties are now um, written. So once you've noticed that, um, let's say, Ivan Sriola is the land owner and um, it's confirmed by the land commission, what you do next um, is um, ensure that there is a sales and purchase agreement between you and Ivan Sriola so that you all are safe and the receipts are there that truly you bought that land. After, after the sales and um, purchase agreement, ensure you have an indenture. An indenture is a document recognized by the Land Commission as a receipt for land purchase. That's what proves that indeed this land belongs to you now. 
you um, foreigner, you African diaspora who just moved into Ghana, that's what will prove that indeed you're the original owner of the land. So if you have an indenture and you've not paid for it, in a way you can beat the original owner to to owning the land. So ensure you have an indenture that um, proves that you bought uh, the land from the owner. Then from there you move to the land commission for the exchange of ownership. Exchange of ownership. The land's name um, will be brought from Evans Friola now to your name. You understand? You should follow all these steps. There are like seven steps. Huh? Um, for you to follow before buying land in Ghana, for you to be safe. I see a lot of videos online that are, oh, I built a home five years later, this family came and said, no, you know, it's our land. We, we were pushed away. We were, we were chased out of our land that we bought and built. You know, you should follow these steps for you to avoid all these things, man. There's no country that is bad. There's no country that is good. Each and every country in the world has its um, good and bad share. So ensure that you follow the rightful way for you to own land in Ghana. And um, lastly, um, someone would ask me, where, where, where do I find a surveyor when I move to Ghana? Where, where do I get one? And um, many a times uh, you can get surveyor from real estate agents. Real estate agents can help you um, find a surveyor. And also you can contact the land commission in Ghana. You can always find someone so that you buy land professionally. We don't want people to start complaining that, oh, I did this and that in Ghana and um, it wasn't a success. I, I, I do not want to say that it's a lie that there are scammers in Ghana. It's true. There are a lot of scammers in Ghana when it comes to land purchasing. And... Um, rather selling the land but just like i mentioned right now kenya is opening its, its doors for the black americans and um, every race in the world to come to kenya visa free a lot of people will be settling in kenya with time and i'm um, kenyans um, we may take advantage of the same situation so ensure that each and every country that you go each country that is opening its borders, ensure that you all transact safely and do your things legally, guys. So I hope this video was helpful for you all. I hope this video will change your perspective about Ghana and um, you guys will move to Ghana. And if you want to buy land, you should know all those points in mind and ensure that you buy land legally don't just meet someone on the streets they tell you they're their own and then you start transacting i see videos people saying that uh, oh the title did take so long before they are processed i don't know but i believe that if we follow these steps it will be easier for you to buy land in ghana and um, enjoy your stay in ghana freely and uh, get to enjoy the motherland thank you so so much for watching this video this is even Sriola live and direct from nairobi kenya and if you all want to support my channel kindly subscribe you can join my membership and i would really appreciate if you all may throw something small um uh for to support my work uh i'd, I'd, I'd really be so so grateful man so Thank you so, so much. Comment down below if you have more tips um, on how to know legit lands in Ghana. Thank you so, so much. See you in my next video. Adios.